And so, Peter, this happens. A lot of times things happen between shows, right? Mm -hmm. Information pops. Right. And so this one was pretty significant. Something happened here uh, with Devin Haney, undefeated, young, up and coming fighter. And he made some very controversial comments. Um, he was being interviewed and uh, the subject of Vasily Lomachenko came up, so, which seems to bring out something in a lot of people. But Devin Haney said, um, ain't no white boy going to ever beat me. I don't care. Uh, you fight 10 times in a row and I'm going to beat him every all 10 times. Right. So obviously, I know that later on in the show, you're going to have a response to that. Mm -hmm. I have something to say about that. Um, mm -hmm. But my take is this. First and foremost, I think it I, I think it's a ridiculous comment for, you know, just because I mean. It's it's beyond the fact that obviously it's a pretty racist comment, you know, just to say just to to automatically assume somebody's inferiority in anything based off of their uh, their their race is dead wrong. Same way uh, and me as an African-American become you know incensed or uh, or upset or uh insulted by someone saying you know no black no black guy's gonna ever beat me out if we're going for quarterback position same way that that would irritate me or bother me because the stereotype is that you know before recently uh african americans couldn't play quarterback effectively that was a stereotype it was a wrong stereotype obviously uh but it was one that existed and it's one that many people bought into uh, the same stereotype exists in the world of boxing that, you know, the greatest fighters are always African-American or, or Hispanic. Uh, so to say that is just dead wrong. Now, but for me, I think there is a flip side to this. I think that Devin Haney, uh, while he's a very young man and obviously, you know, uh, subject to say some things maybe he shouldn't say. Um, I think that there was a little bit of a method to this madness. Um, Devin Haney shortly afterwards posted a picture of himself in a similar posture as Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, Floyd made a career out of making himself the villain, um, always putting himself in a position where people hated him. But then obviously don't 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 get it twisted as much negative or seemingly negative things Floyd had associated with him throughout his career. He also has a very hardcore and loyal fan base as well. So either way, there are these people on these two opposite ends of the spectrum about Devin, about Floyd Mayweather. And that concept is what makes you compelling and makes you a draw for better or for worse. Uh, so I think that that's what he was going for. And I can flat tell you there are a lot there are a good amount of people who saw that and said, I'm on Devin Haney's side after that. I'm I'm with him. And obviously, it's pretty much going to be African-American boxing fans and not all <laughs> African-American boxing fans, but some would follow behind him for saying that. And they would become he would become more of their favorite fighter. He's on their radar more now. Maybe he wasn't before. So I like I said, I think there was a method to the madness. Uh, the thing about it is, is if you're going to be that way. First of all, in boxing, boxing does not penalize their athletes the way they should. They don't penalize their way their athletes uh, the way um, other sports do. There's no way in the world outside of combat sports, Devin Haney as an athlete could have got away with saying something like that. Nor should he have gotten away with it. It shouldn't. It shouldn't even be as simple as as I apologized. Because I'm going to tell you just like this, if Tom Brady was to say something like that, he would not be let off the hook, nor should he be. So it, the thing of it is, is that boxing works on different rules. You got people like Adrian Broner who have said multiple racist things. Even Floyd says uh, there's a video of Floyd before the Pacquiao fight. He says there's nothing that Pacquiao can do for me but go make me some chop suey, get me some chicken chow mein. All of this horrible racist stuff he said before this fight took place. But it's boxing and nobody penalizes these people the way that they don't penalize the athletes the way they're penalized in other sports. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. So Devin Haney's playing a dirty game and playing it in the dirtiest way. 
but this is unfortunately the way things uh, transpire in boxing. So we'll see what comes from it. He's already kind of walked it back a little bit by apologizing and saying that he's not racist. It's kind of hard to walk back a comment that strong. So we'll see. And like I said, I'm, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. So Brian, here are my thoughts on Devin Haney's comments the other day. Uh, you know, I, I know Devin Haney. Uh, I know his father, Bill Haney. You know, we've talked about that. Hopefully I'll get him on the show sooner than later. Uh, I think it's unfortunate that Devin is taking that, that route. Uh, I think that, you know, it is a racist comment, regardless of how you want to define racism. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it couldn't be any more direct and racist in its, in its delivery, right? Do I believe he's a racist? I don't. And that's an interesting thing to say, right? That he made a racist comment, but I don't believe he's racist. What I believe is that he's just trying to stir the pot and create some attention for himself. And of course, when he says, I'm not a racist, I'm paraphrasing here, never was, never will be. Then he posts the picture of him and Floyd in the similar stance. I'm chasing excellence, something to that effect. Mm -hmm. He's almost sort of like dragging Floyd into this thing as being a racist. Like it, the whole comment was unnecessary. Now, mind you, uh, I don't, you know, I, I don't believe he's racist. Okay. I even texted Bill afterwards and said, what the heck is Devin saying? Question mark. And then right underneath it, when I shared this with you, the screenshot, mm -hmm. I wrote, Tago's a white boy. Let's make that fight. <laughs> Exclamation point. Sort of making light of the situation because I'm chasing that Emmanuel Tago fight with Devin. Mm -hmm. Of which Bill responded, you know, with a, a, a laughing emoji, etc. Right. Um, but here's the thing. It, it, you said it's not punished in boxing like other sports, but that's not true. Oh, it's 100% true. Well... Billy Joe Saunders Devin, just got... Is Devin Haney's career just about over? Is he going to lose every possible endorsement he could ever get? No, but Billy Joe Saunders it's might. Not the same. Then it's no, not but, Billy, but Billy Joe Saunders but might. The fact that you said might. The fact but, he's, but, might. but Brian, he had a fight with Canelo. It, he's been it, suspended by the... Listen, the WBO. Now, if you're telling me suspended that, skin, that, skin, that, that skin color comments, right, and race don't that women are less than because really, okay. So what I'm saying to you is that from you, if you want to look at inflammatory statements mm -hmm. and hurtful statements and potential dangerous statements, mm -hmm. Billy Joe son, you just said in you, in your between the rounds, I know what he was going for. Who? You Devin said Haney. just, you just said, you know what Devin Haney was going for. Yeah, and I'm saying, true. well, I know it. And I know what Billy Joe Saunders was going for a cheap joke. Absolutely. I, I, I mean, so hold not, on. So wait, so I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the point I'm making. The, no, but the point I'm making is that Billy Joe Saunders was immediately suspended by the British boxing board of control. Immediately. The WBO would no longer sanction the Canelo fight. Okay. Not even, so now what I'm saying is that Devin tweets, I just had a productive conversation mm -hmm. with the WBC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What I'm saying is there's a double standard with who making inflammatory statements, whether it's against gender, race, etc. however you want to put it, and then not being held to the same, uh, the accountability is not the same with who, if we're comparing Billy Joe Saunders and Devin Haney's situation. Oh, so you're saying that Devin Haney should have been immediately suspended? I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying he should. Well, I'm, do you think Billy Joe Saunders should have been immediately suspended or did you know what he was going for? No, I, see, when I said I know what he was going for, that's not a defense or a justification. That's saying I see what your motive is. I could see you kill somebody and I say, no, I know why you did it. That's right. I mean, I think that you're right. I'm saying I know what he was going for. His aim was to try to make himself this polarizing figure. And he did so at the expense of everything that's morally correct. So and yet, and yet, there's no punishment. Billy Joe Saunders was going for a so cheap laugh. Billy Joe Saunders was going for a cheap laugh. So instead, his his instead his career is on hold. Point, but essentially, you're proving my point. Why? Because you started off your rebuttal saying that I said that boxing athletes are not penalized on the same level as other other athletes. You said that's not true. Well, you're just saying it is now because Devin Haney just said something 
that he's not getting punished for at all. But we both know that if a if an athlete in Major League Baseball, NBA, or in the NFL had mm-hmm. made that sort of comment, it would be a absolute firestorm. People who had never heard of these guys or girls mm-hmm. would be aware of who they are because of these comments. Yeah, I mean, look, this didn't create even the firestorm that he was in, hoping. But what I am NASCAR, saying is that even in oh, NASCAR, uh, uh, Kyle Larson. But you do realize this is like it's almost like diminishing the whole Saunders situation. I'm just saying it's it's, it's you know well Saunders. what I'm saying is like D- Saunders made statements that you know that he probably shouldn't have made. He was going for a joke, okay? But, and it was gen and it was gender related. And, and it was Saunders, and Saunders. Well, Saunders' career is not over. He got suspended. If a player in the NBA and lost a big fight against Canelo and lost a big fight, a, a career in- high earning fight. Beautiful. I mean, he, he was basically put in timeout. Exactly. Exactly. If a player in the NBA or the NFL had said something like this, the ramifications would have been much worse than getting put in timeout. That's that's what I'm saying. It, it's it, and to me, sometimes what what seems to happen is sometimes boxing is in, is embarrassed by how immoral it is from its core. Mm-hmm. Boxing is extremely immoral from its core. And I'm not talking about the fighting. I'm talking about the people who are in charge don't care anything about these moral standards. They don't care. They don't care about any of that. Because if they cared, people like Adrian Broner, who make the comments and things that he does, and all, and all of these other fighters, I mean, you can go back in history, Carlos Monzon, all these different types of fighters with all this check with a checkered past. Right. That stuff. Is kind of put to the side. I mean, Edwin Valero, people, when people talk about Edwin Valero, they talk about Edwin Valero in a, in, in, with some sense of admiration and, oh my God, what would have happened if he blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. No, it, it, boxing is looked at from a different lens than right. most other sports. And part of the reason is because you can get away with more. And I mean, Adrian Broner, got up at the end of a fight and said, I am the can man. Anybody can right. get Mexicans, mm-hmm. Puerto Rican <clears throat> cans. There is no other sport in the world outside of maybe mixed martial arts where you could get up and make a comment like that and the entire organization wouldn't freak out. So so here's what I have to say about it. Just, you know, I'm not I'm I wasn't offended by Haney's comments. I mean I think there's no place for it at all, ever, anywhere, no matter who's saying it, no matter, you know, what race, whatever. I, I just don't think it should be brought into the conversation of boxing at all. So uh, I don't think he's racist. I, I think he probably regrets that he's trying way too hard to be like Floyd. The, the difference is, is that Floyd didn't turn into the heel until he, he had already established himself into, you know, almost a hall of fame caliber fighter, you know? So mm-hmm. Floyd was way, way along in his career when he's, mm-hmm. when he flipped from pretty boy to, mm-hmm. to, to, don't you, you know, that, I don't know. He wasn't that far along. I right? was, he was still, a super I think far long enough that we knew that he was, that he had already fought credible people. It was after the Corrales fight. Mm-hmm. So I believe it was, like, there's a speech where he gives it in, he gives it in the ring in a post fight mm-hmm. interview. And they say, this is the death of pretty boy. He gets up and he says, you got a lot of stuff that I forget who's interviewing him. He says, you got a lot of yeah. stuff going for you. So you got a nice smile. He said, I don't want to be the good guy. I want to be the villain. We're right. going to make all the money. What I'm saying is, so they like it was Sugar Ray Leonard. And he said, I don't want to be Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard was a good guy. I want to be a villain. The villain all right. make all the I, money. I hear you. All I'm saying is, you know, to me, when I really said to myself, okay, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is, is, is it was when he beat the Crowley. way he beat Krause yes. for me. So I, what I'm for saying me, is, for me, too, it, for me. Okay. So if it happened before that, I'm wrong. And he then was already, but for me, I thought it maybe would have happened. Might maybe it happened after that. The point I'm making is that Devin Haney's saying all these things and calling all these people out and doing. But I still think he needs to go in there and and have that statement fight before he starts, uh, you know, getting a little bit too far ahead of himself. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that is a whole separate issue. Obviously, yes, you can you can say that. Oh, you need to hold down the calling out people. Do you haven't proven anything? I wouldn't care if he'd beaten Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis, Vasily Lomachenko, Tiafimo Lopez, and knocked them all out with one punch in the first round. Yeah, you still shouldn't be talking about right. Ain't no white boy gonna beat me because, like I said, if you put the other shoe, you put the shoe on the other foot, and a white guy had said that, right? Vasily Lomachenko said, uh, "Ain't no black boy gonna beat me," especially black boy. 
black boy. I mean, really, it would have been it would have been one. It would have been one if he had said that. So, right, that's my that's my point. I mean, hopefully, all, we just all, all move past it. All, and, you know, uh, all racism is is bad. But the thing I right. will say is that bossing is so freaking hip, hypocritical. Yeah, because you jump up and you say racism is bad, but you literally orchestrate and promote fights with race as a major drawing point. Mexican Puerto Rican fights are huge because of the rivalry between the two races. You want that uh, African American fighter fighting a a, a Mexican American fighter. We talked about that when Javante was on there. Well, right. We talked about how that would be such a big fight because it'd be him against Santa Cruz, African American against Mexican. So we say all that, and then we put this up as this subject or as this draw. But then when somebody says, "Ain't no white boy gonna beat me." Now all of a sudden, the boxing people have to pretend as though they're appalled. Get out of here! You're not appalled because you're not appalled at any of the other ridiculous crap that goes on in your sport. I don't want to hear it. Devin Haney's wrong, but so is boxing. So that's pretty much how I see that. So um, it is. It is what it is.